Hey everybody, this is Fully Health and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this tiny little honeycomb farm. It's got a footprint of only 6 by 5 I'll put a list of everything you need on screen now, so pause the video if you need to. And now we'll crack on and build this thing. So when you find a place to build this farm, you want to get to the front and you need to pop out those three blocks there, like that. And then put down your chest, then go around the back. Crouch and you'll need to put a hopper leading into that chest and then a hopper leading into that hopper and then a hopper on top of there leading down into that hopper. So there's a hopper chain now that runs from there through into your chest at the front. Then get back around the front. You need to take out your beehive or your bee nest and we're going to put it there on top of that hopper. So you're going to have to crouch like that. Now you want to take out your grass blocks. I'm using grass blocks. You can use dirt blocks, podzil, anything that flowers will grow on. Uh, you can use that here, but I'm going to be using grass blocks and you need to put the grass blocks there like that. That's where your flowers are going to go on. Stick down any one tall flower. It can be any flower you like as long as it's only one block tall. Now you want to take out your blocks of choice again and just put a little rim around the, uh, around the grass blocks. Okay, like this. And then on top of the chest, you need to put an upside down stair. That way, you're able to access the chest. If you put a solid block there, you wouldn't be able to access the chest. And to make it a little bit easier, pop out those three blocks there. And put in a couple of stairs, three stairs like that. It just makes it a lot easier to see the chest. I'm going to replace those yellow blocks as well, because nobody wants to see those there. They're ugly. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like that. Now take out your dispenser, and this has to be a dispenser. If you use a dropper, this won't work, okay? So make sure it's a dispenser. And you need to get around behind the back of your bee farm, or your beehive or your bee's nest, and put down your dispenser there like that, pointing into your beehive, okay? Remember, dispenser. Now take out your block of choice again, and you'll need to start building up the enclosure around the front where your bees are going to live. Okay, so we'll do that like that. Now we're going to be putting glass blocks on the front, but the walls need to be four high, okay? Four high, one, two, three, four, four, four like so, and then build up the back as well. And then we'll just put a line of spruce logs along the top. And now we'll just stick some glass over the front, six blocks of glass over the front. Like that, that's where your bees are going to live. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now you want to get around the back and you'll need to put a solid block. This can be any block. I'm using a uh, concrete brick, but you can use any solid block that you like. You'll need to put a block there. Okay, and on top of that, you'll need to put down a comparator that's going to pull a signal out of the the bee farm and let us know when it's full and ready to ready to harvest the uh, honeycomb and then you want to put a block there 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 and there okay so one there one there that's a temporary block you can remove that if you want to so there 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 and there and on top of each one of those blocks you'll need to put down a blob of redstone dust and there should be five blobs of redstone dust because when the beehive or bees nest is full it will give off a signal strength of five so when it's full we want all of these redstone dusts to be lit up and it will power that dispenser there which will fire out the shears that we'll put in there in a second okay so one two three four five all right, simple. Now you want to take out your trapdoor. You want to pop out those two blocks there like that. And you want to take out your trapdoor and put a trapdoor there. So you can easily access your dispenser on the inside, okay? And then above it, put down a redstone lamp like that. Now that lamp will light up. When there are no shears left in your dispenser, the uh, the honey will fill up in the the beehive. The redstone to the redstone dust will light up. When it gets to here, it will fire the dispenser. Nothing will happen because you've got no shears in there. That will then power that block that we'll put down in a second, and that will light up that light, indicating that you're out of shears. Okay, so you can tell at a glance if 
there's a, uh, if that light is on, it means that your farm is out of shears and you'll need to open that up. You'll need to put shears in there and then you'll need to break that piece of redstone dust there, put it back again and the farm will start working. Okay, so you'll need a trapdoor there and a redstone lamp on top of it. And then you should have something that looks like that. Now we just need to fill these sides and around it. So get your block of choice again. And we'll just fill in around the side. Around the back. And just here. We're going to be putting a door in here so we can get in. It's going to break that ugly block. And then we'll stick a spruce door in there. So now we can easily get inside the farm if we need to. And then block on top of that and just fill in the rest. This is all going to be covered in with uh, with stairs for the roof anyway, so it doesn't really matter which way around you put those blocks. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like that. Now we're going to put a bit of light in there. Those blocks in there, those grass blocks are spawnable spaces. So at night, if this is not lit up, you will get mobs in there and you don't want that, do you? So if you get your glowstone, you can use any illuminated blocks. So if you want to use sea lanterns or frog lights, you can do that. In there, I'm going to use glowstone. Just put some glowstone at the top and that will light it up and stop mobs from spawning in there. Now I'm going to be making the roof out of oak stairs and oak slabs you can make it out of anything you like you don't have to put a roof on at all if you just want it to be a a box and you could just put slabs on the top to stop things spawning up there but i'm going to be making a little pitch roof and then we'll top it off with a couple of slabs that are non-spawnable so you won't get any mobs on the top like that so now you should have something that looks like that. Now, before we get the bees in there, we're just going to stick in the shears. So you can pop open that door, you access the dispenser, stick in at nine shears. They've, they only cost two pieces of iron. They're very cheap to make. Stick yourself in nine shears like that, so you can close the door. Now it's time to get your bees in. Now you can either get the bees in by harvesting a full nest, Wait for three bees to go inside the bee nest, harvest it with a silk touch axe or pick, and then bring it, put it back in here, and you've immediately got three bees in your farm. Or uh, you can go and uh, round up some bees using flowers or a lead uh, and get them in the farm. I'm going to be using a spawn egg because I can, being very careful not to let them out. Like that. So now we just have to wait for them to do their magic. So there you have it, everybody. A really compact little honeycomb farm that's got a tiny footprint and will produce as much honeycomb as you need. I hope you've enjoyed this video, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.